try to keep it simple, um, but elegant. The menu at Otis and Exeter changes every week. Owner and executive chef Lee Frank prides himself on surprising diners with new twists on simple, fresh ingredients. And recently, he got the surprise of his life when he was named a James Beard semifinalist for best chef in the Northeast. I definitely had to get on my phone and like scroll to see if it was real. It felt very surreal at first, but it was crazy. Yeah, my wife was crying. Ironically, this quote was hanging in his restaurant before he got the news. It says, food is our common ground, a universal experience, a quote from uh, Mr. James Beard himself. For a chef, winning a James Beard Award is like getting an Oscar. It's like the Academy Awards for cooking. High hopes, low expectations. I don't necessarily think I'll be a finalist, but it's completely fine. It's kind of like, it's not a bad thing to be able to say Academy Award nominee. Lee, an executive chef on the Seacoast since 2006, says the nomination does more than just recognize chefs for their cuisine. What you're doing to represent your region, what you're doing to push your region forward, what you're doing in the community um, to give back, I, I think that kind of plays a big part in what uh, the James Beard stands for. Lee has been involved with the Steel Chef fundraiser for the New Hampshire Food Bank since 2018. The year he walked away with the championship knife. This is a pan seared crispy skin Maine salmon over a puree of fennel, a little salad of cucumber and green apple, some micro scallion, creme fraiche, and smoked paprika oil. Looks beautiful. Thank you. At Otis, Lee is elevating the freshest ingredients, and the menu is never the same. It's a five course tasting menu. Um, there's actually two options at each course. So a lot of times if two people come in, they just kind of get one of everything and share. His sticky toffee pudding is the only dessert that you can always order. It's been on the menu since day one. People love it. So this is a pan seared New York strip loin with a cabbage pea and smoked ham cake, some local mushrooms. Um, pea shoots, radish, a radish top mustard, and a black garlic aioli. Wow. Along with Otis and Exeter, he also has a restaurant in South Berwick, Maine called Lee Frank's. My first job cooking at 15 years old was at a burger joint in LA. And then I ran a pretty famous hot dog stand in Los Angeles. This was when I was in high school. So we decided let's open a burger and dog joint. Run. I cook because I love it. I always tell people, you know, I'm being a chef is who I am, not what I do. I love the feedback that we get of like, we talked about what dish was our favorite the whole way home and we couldn't pick one. Like, that's kind of uh, the winner for me. Another New Hampshire chef is now a two-time James Beard semifinalist. Chris Vio owns the Northern Comfort Hospitality Group, which includes Greenleaf, an Ensemble in Milford, and Pavilion in Wolfboro. Outstanding restaurateur. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's humbling for sure. <laughs> And this is your second time being a semifinalist. Yes, second time nominated. I was nominated the first time for Emerging Chef in uh, 2022. Um, so it's just been incredible to kind of like for me to see where I've grown and become from being a chef and being recognized as that to now being recognized as a restaurateur, building all these brands. Greenleaf, his first venture is a farm to table restaurant. In New England, we have micro seasons where we have uh, pops of uh, asparagus coming up, and we'll know uh, right when asparagus season hits, that's when we'll put asparagus on the menu. We have then peas and ramps and fiddleheads and things like that. Pavilion, in its essence, is very similar to Greenleaf. Uh, located in Wolfboro, New Hampshire, we focus on sourcing from local farms in the area and doing the best that we can to highlight what's coming into season. 
On Some is where Chris, who appeared on Top Chef, is spending most of his time these days. This Milford restaurant features cuisine from his Haitian roots. Haitian food is um, the epitome of Caribbean cuisine. I mean, we have bold flavors filled with citrus, a lot of marinated and stewed meats, um, hearty dishes that are very comforting. Most dishes coming out of the Ansam kitchen use a traditional Haitian marinade called a piece. It almost looks like guacamole. <laughs> yes. A little bit. Don't dip a, don't dip a chip in there. <laughs> <laughs> don't dip a chip yeah. in there? <laughs> just too spicy? It's spicy and very garlicky. A piece kind of just translates to spice. So in here is our blend of sweet peppers, hot peppers, uh, citrus, a lot of garlic, um, scallions and parsley. And that's pretty much like the marinade for everything. And we use that also for some of our rice dishes, uh, our stewed vegetable dishes. Um, so it's incorporated through a lot of Haitian cooking and cuisine. This is our spicy cabbage slaw called piklis. So in there is shredded cabbage, carrots, sweet peppers, uh, hot peppers, and then we use sour orange and lime and white vinegar to kind of just brine it. So all those flavors meld well together. The longer it sits, the better it gets. And we always just like to say, like, our food isn't really spicy, but you have the option to add the spice by incorporating the piklis. Haitian culture will say something that's uh, bomba gai. That means good stuff. So or, that's one thing that my parents have been teaching my daughter. So every time she has something good, she'll say bomba gai. Bomba gai. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. It's so yummy. <laughs> A James Beard semifinalist is the ultimate validation for these chefs. Well, you put in all these hard, long hours, and it just shows that your efforts are being rewarded. We saw each other's names, and of course, we reached out to each other, congratulated, and from that point on, we were just like, we have to cook together. We have to try to get something on the book. So we're hoping that uh, soon this year we can get a dinner scheduled together.